What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and I want to give you an overview and demonstration of the just released Opera Mini for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Third party browsers for the iDevices are nothing new, uh, they've been out for well over a year but a viable third party browser we really haven't seen yet. Uh, Opera is a browser that has just tons of market penetration. If you are a Blackberry user, odds are it's on your phone, if you're a Windows Mobile user, odds are it's your browser of choice. Uh, we've really seen it on a variety of platforms, but not yet on the iPhone OS. So let me give you a quick overview of what this looks like. And as you can see by my background, I am running iPhone OS 4.0, which could make things run a bit, a little bit weird. So let me open this up for you. And to give you guys maybe a bit of a, a bigger demonstration of it, let's push the iPhone off to the side. Let's do this demonstration here on the iPad. So you can get a little of a bigger view of what Opera looks like. We'll just sort of stretch it out. So we're going to go ahead and launch it here. You can see there's the icon. It's a free download available now from the App Store. We've got double the size here, so it should be double the presentation fun. And I've got an introduction screen loaded up here because I want to show you some of the key features of Opera Mini. So first, tab browsing, and I'll show you all of these. They're sort of calling this a speed dial. If you've used uh, Sense or Sense UI on Windows Mobile, this is going to look very familiar to what you get with a well, contact speed dial. Long click menu, something that we've seen actually with the iPad, and now integrated here on other devices, our remembers passwords, um, and Opera Link, synchronize your bookmarks, speed dial, and search engines between all your mobile phone and desktop computers. That's one of the biggest uh, advantages of Opera, is that without any plugins, automatically will sync everything for you. So let's go ahead and get to the good stuff. We'll go ahead and hit the tab button here. Actually, before we do that, let me show you some of the settings. So you've got a big sort of wrench in the corner, and you've got a grid of seven icons. Bookmarks, history, start page, save pages, settings, find in pain, and help. The help is where that screen was that I just showed you. Bookmarks, pull up your list of bookmarks. We'll go ahead and go back. History, obviously your history. And start page is what they were talking about by that sort of speed dial looking thing. So you can set all the pages you want here. These are the six that come standard. Techno Buffalo, unfortunately, you're gonna have to add on your own. Let me go ahead and show you uh, what the load times look like here. So we'll go ahead and launch Techno Buffalo. And Opera is one of those services that actually does some of the rendering on the server side and then pushes it to the device. So oftentimes you see a much quicker rendering. So you look at it right here, it launched very quickly. We're on a standard 802.11n connection. Um, the text is a little bit small, but you can change that, I'll show you. Double tap to zoom is still there. You can see how quickly it jumps around. Uh, pinch to zoom still certainly works. Uh, panning and scrolling is very smooth. Uh, really one of the big benefits of Opera is its load time. It loads just very, very quickly. So the text is small. You go ahead and change the default text size. It's uh, set as small, sort of the standard. You can go to medium or, of course, large, uh, which I recommend because you clearly can't read anything here. Uh, but if you zoom in, you get sort of a, a more clear view. Uh, for those of you that I know we're going to ask, this doesn't have Flash working in it. Uh, you're going to get sort of the same uh, functionality that you're going to get uh, with mobile Safari. So go ahead and zoom out. And you can get rid of that top bar and the options. You have it show full screen, have the menu bar at the bottom go away. Uh, one of the cool things that I really do like about Opera Mini are sort of the search engine stuff here. So similar to what you see on Firefox or other browsers, you get a ton of search plugins uh, by default. Google, Amazon, eBay, Wikipedia. And you can manage them and turn them off. Uh, hopefully at some point you'll be able to add more too. I love an IMDB one in there. So I'll go ahead and go back. Let me show you some of the other sort of cool features. The tabbed browsing is actually very neat. So let me go and open up a new page here. We'll go ahead and launch New York Times. And let that launch. It's kind of cool because you see it like it doesn't move, doesn't move, and all of a sudden just jumps and the page is already loaded. We'll go ahead and launch another one here. And let's go ahead and pick Facebook. So tab browsing is really neat. You sort of get this layer that shows up and you can scroll through uh, very smoothly to see the different icons and go right to the one you want jump right to it. Of course, the X means close it. Go ahead and jump right to Techno Buffalo. So it's sort of multitasking in the background. If you look at some of the tab browsing that you get on the iPad or iPhone or iPod Touch, uh, you can jump between pages, but oftentimes the pages are going to reload if they've been sitting stagnant for too long. Uh, not the case here at the Opera Mini. They will stay loaded in the background. So let me show you some of the other options that you're going to get. So we just showed you start page, save pages, save pages. Uh, the settings is really where a lot of your customization is going to be. So load images, if you want to speed it up and have your pages load blisteringly fast, you can turn off uh, the image loading, uh, image quality, you can set that. And all these settings are sort of optimized for speed. Uh, mobile view, so instead of getting the full view of sites, we get the mobile version. 
Uh, full screen is what I was talking about by getting rid of the bar at the top of the bottom. Opera link, that'll link up all your bookmarks. We talked about that earlier. You get some privacy settings. I'll show you what those are. You guys are interested. Remember passwords, clear history, clear cookies. Um, make sure no one knows what sites you are checking out. And some advanced options. Protocol, start page links. In case you guys want to see what those options are. HTTP or socket. We'll go ahead and go back. And continuing our look at the settings, you get find in page, which is actually really neat. It's sort of like a search built right into the page. So you can go ahead and hit search. You can type in whatever you're looking for, and uh, it will search. There, so there's an example of the iPad. It'll find next. And just as a reminder for people, this is an iPhone application that got blown up on the iPad. Uh, that's why I've got the iPhone looking keyboard here, not the iPad's keyboard. Uh, sort of a cool functionality. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. We'll go ahead and done. And um, if you go ahead and hit the button on the left, it'll sort of get everything back to where you were. Refresh a page, obviously. And if you, let's say you want to, you know, type in URL, of course you do that right at the top. And it sort of disappears as you start to scroll. And you go back up, it will jump back up to the top. Uh, I've used Opera Mini when I was a BlackBerry user, when I was a Windows Mobile user. It was my browser of choice. It's reliable. It's very fast. Uh, you're not going to get as, I don't think, an elegant experience as you get on mobile Safari. But if speed is your thing, if you want to get your pages loaded as quickly as possible, um, there really isn't much of a comparison. Um, I will show you um, a bit of a speed test, although this is going to be very unscientific um, because it's based on horsepower. But I will load Techno Buffalo, I'll refresh it here on the iPad, and I will load it up on the iPhone, both on the same network. And I recognize this is a very unscientific test, uh, again, because of processor speed. But in case you want to see how quickly things load, um, I will show you. Techno Buffalo, of course, has been loaded on uh, both these devices. And I'll do a simple refresh on each so you guys can see the speed. So here we've got the site all queued up, ready to go. And here we've got it all queued up, ready to go on the iPhone. I'll sort of put it right there so you can see it. And I will refresh both, hopefully at the same time, which is actually harder than you think it would be. At least close to the same time. There we go. So this is Mobile Safari. This, of course, is Opera. So Opera's already done. Um, Mobile Safari is still loading. Now, what if we reverse those and we do Mobile Safari on the iPad and we do Opera Mini on the iPhone? Let's check that out to see if these speeds are representative. Okay, so I've got the sites ready to go on both devices. We've got Mobile Safari here on the iPad now and we've got Opera Mini on the iPhone, and we expect probably that Opera Mini on the iPhone will load it faster, although the horsepower of the iPad may push it through. We'll go and check, and we'll do the sort of the refresh test here. Let me go ahead and open both these up, or try and hit, load them at the same time, which, like I said, is more difficult than you'd expect it to be. So, close to the same time. Uh, we see the iPad, looks like it's showing content first. Nope, Mobile's uh, Opera Mini is still loaded it faster. So if you're looking at just a raw speed test, uh, clearly Opera Mini is faster, even with the 400 megahertz faster and optimized processor that the iPad has, uh, still on the same mobile network, this loaded much faster. This is great news for you unlocked iPhone users who are maybe using it on an edge network. Uh, you're gonna notice just a huge uh, speed increase. Anyway guys, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Hope you enjoyed the overview and head-to-head -head of the iPad and iPhone showing you Opera Mini. For all your tech news, be sure to check out technobuffalo.com where you can create and monetize your own tech website and even interact with the users in our built-in social network. And for exclusive content, be sure to check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash John4Lakers. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.